Yeah. Right guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Today I'm taking a look at a dress watch from Borealis Watches uh, It's called the Lusitano or Lusitano, something like that I don't know how to pronounce it Anyway, I'll put it up on the screen Anyway, I was thinking to myself, I was like, ah, I was looking through my previous Borealis reviews and I'm like, Jesus, has it been that long since I looked at a watch from Borealis? Right, so this dress watch from Borealis with a slightly different approach. I don't, I don't think I've seen a dress watch from Borealis before. So, is it any good? Right guys, uh, I'll give you the basic specs first, but I'll run through the specs, I'll give you the price and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. There is a slightly funny part, nothing to do with the watch, but a slightly funny part that I'm planning to do nearer the end of the video, after the specs and that anyway. So be sure to stick around and watch that. Um, it was actually my wife's idea. She's like, oh, you just do it. I'm not going to tell you what it is now, but anyway. Right, specs of this watch. Right, first up, uh, price. Uh, like every other Borealis watch, there's no Kickstarters, but you do pre-order. However, you don't have to pay the full price. You pay 50% up front. And when the watch is ready to be shipped, you pay the remaining 50%. Right, so the full price of this watch is $310. So you pay, what, 155 then another 155 when it's ready to ship. Ah, it's like, I quite like that approach. You know what I mean? I do, I do like that approach. I don't have any issues with it. I think it's far better than a Kickstarter or paying full price up front. Anyway, let's talk about the specs. Right, I'll put that there. Right, case diameter, 38.6mm. Total thickness, 12.1mm. Lug to lug, 46.3mm and it has a 20mm lug width. The total weight of the watch with the bracelet sized up as best as I can get it for my 6.8 inch wrist is 134 grams. Lovely jubbly. Um, the movement inside it is the Miyota 8315. That's the new one. Now that these are uh, these movements are a lot better than like the much older eight series movements. I don't think there is anywhere near as noisy. Um, plus the fact they've got a fantastic power reserve, and they do self winding hacking. Uh, they run at three hertz, sixty one thousand. 61,000 21,600 vibrations an hour aye so I do like this movement 60 hour power reserve that's a good 20 hours above what everything else around about this price point so that's good to know right the case let's go into the details right the case is brushed and polished 316L stainless steel and it's an unusual approach it's got like dog leg lugs you see the shape and you've got you've got small polished chamfered edge that runs over the lugs and stuff you've got a polished a fully polished bezel that's obviously fixed and smooth uh, but you do have various different other 
angles and everything else as you could see I think it's very nice very nice indeed not your usual approach but I like it oh the bracelet right it's brushed and polished beads of ice obviously brushed pretty much everywhere they centre centre links are slightly polished they're no like fully there is a difference as you can see there on the end link you see how it's pol it's kind of polished and the centre brushed on the outside and the bracelet does match the finishing of the case it's not an off the shelf item I'm sure it's made just for this watch and it is very nice now for the first time that I've seen with Borealis I think if my memory serves me correctly the full mill clasp push button and it also has on the fly adjustment and it's a good one, it's really refined just push that button there try to take the gloves it's a bit of a nightmare but it is refined and you do get a fair amount of adjustment there way better than just getting the tools out and having to do it manually I like that pretty much all brands are doing this these days and that's brilliant for us the customer because oh, it just takes it up it makes the watch in its entirety, entirety a lot more refined in my opinion uh, also it's got quick release pins on the end links so easy strap changes no tools required I'll show you the case back in a wee bit once I get to that bit on my notes right where well, I've done done this done the bezel uh, the crystal it's a dome sapphire and you can actually see I mean it's it's quite a a high domed if you know what I mean almost top hat but there is, it is domed, single domed, because you can see the distortion at weird angles and stuff, which is nice. Gives it a nice vintage look. And I do like how they could have made this watch thinner if they just used a flat sapphire. Uh, but I like the fact that it's, you know, got that edge. Gives it a more vintage vibe. Do like it. Plenty of AR coating as well, by the way, which is not very common for a dress watch, but this one does. I've not had any issues with legibility. Um, I've got the grey dial here. I did ask for the white dial because obviously I'm a white dial slut. But I'm quite glad that I asked for the grey dial. It's really, really nice. Right, what's next? Aye, right, the dial. Right, as you can see, it's pretty... Wait, I get that light. In fact, bollocks. Hold on. So I can... Oh, too much. Show you the texture on the dial. It's really nice. It's, I've never seen a texture like that. To be honest with you, it's really nice. I do like it very much so. Uh, the rest of the dial hang on a sec I'll fix this light yeah right um, I, the rest of the dial I'll just show you hang on I'll put it down and I'll talk about it right you've got applied indices or buttons or markers and they're multi-faceted so they do give a bit of a light show when it's on your wrist and with the amount of brushing versus polishing on this watch 
I actually think it's bang on. It's the correct amount. It's not heading towards like a sporty style watch. It's more on the dress side, I would say. Aye, definitely. No question. Um, I do like the dial. Uh, minute, the minute track's printed. You've got a framed date at three. Nice dolphin hands. Uh, you've also got a wee bit of loom, but it's just on the hands it itself. Hence why I'm saying it's heading more towards the dress side of things rather than sporty. I really like it. Dauphine hands are actually my favourite style of hands. I've got to say. Uh, I, I used to like sort hands like they were kind of my favourite, but that was a good couple of years ago. The more I do this, and obviously more watch collecting, I think Dauphine hands are brilliant. I do like them. Uh, what else? The logo's printed, and there's no... Uh, that's the only text that's on the dial, just the, the brand name, Borealis. No text anywhere else. Perfect, nice and clean. Just how I like it. Uh, the loom that is on the hands, it's BGW9. I mean, it's it's no fantastic, but it's not shite either. It's adequate. To be honest, they could have put zero loom on this, and I, I'd be been perfectly happy with it. Uh, water resistance is 50 metres which is fine. They would have preferred 100, uh, but 50 metres is fine. Dress watch. Um, right, the case back. I'm not going to take the bracelet off again. I'm just going to show you as best I can. It's kind of brushed and polished with a wee bit of like sandblast or bead blasting in the centre there. Around the logo, the logo is a mermaid, which Borealis have done before, but it's nice and smooth, no rough edges on the back at all. You have got basic specs around the edge on that polished section there, just water resistant sapphire crystal, blah blah blah, usual. Um, but aye, it's nice and it is comfortable on wrist. Oh shit, upside down. Um, right, what's next? Oh, the crown. The crown is push-pull, hence the water resistance. And it is signed, as you can see, polished. Uh, but it is of a decent size. I measured it at 6.4 mil. And I think you could have even went up as far as 7 mil in this, which is unusual. For a dress watch, you normally have the, the wee itsy bitsy, teeny weeny fucking pain in the ass crowns on dress watches. That's always a a nightmare to use. Right, right what's next? Um, color options. Right, you have five color options on this watch. You have the black dial. Which is lovely. Um, I would say on the darker colours, I would have liked to have seen a colour match date wheel, but it's perfectly fine on obviously the white one because it is colour matched, and it's perfectly fine on this grey dial as well. Um, as I say, the darker ones like the black and the blue um, colour match would have been nice. Right. Oh, I've no sh uh, what was the other colourway that I missed out there? Oh, the salmon. There's a salmon dial as well. No, my cup of tea. Obviously, my favourite is the white dial. If I was buying one, I'd buy the white one. But are you shocked by that? No. Right, where to buy Borealis Watches website? I'll leave a link in the description. It takes you to my website and you get the full specs. This video will be embedded there. 
various other items and that that you can look at. Basically, everything you need to know about this watch is in the link in the description. Warranty-wise, 12 months. That's a bit disappointing. I would have liked to have seen two years. That should be the standard. Um, it's not as if it's... I mean, if you've got faith in your own product, offering another year on top of what you already offer is... Surely it's not an issue. You're basically only covering the movement anyway. Uh, these movements are going to last for years, man. So, I, I would have liked to have seen two years. And that's basically it, guys. Now, I do like this watch. Obviously, as I've said, my favourite is the white dial. I think it's stunning, especially with that texture. Looks really nice. This is a prototype, by the way. It's not a finished product. Uh, they are making a few changes. They are changing. They're going to give, like, more flexibility and size in the bracelet because... I had an issue with Maris, but they're going to add more removable links, so it's a lot more small wrist friendly. Right, that's basically all the specs. Now, I do recommend the watch, right? But, as I say in my intro, there's a part of this that made me chuckle when I was going through like Try to get as much information as possible on this watch. Now, nothing, I hope you don't take offence to this, Carlos, but see, to be honest, like when I go to buy a, a watch, right, I'll go to the website, I don't read any of the marketing bump, right, because it's, it's I just didn't bother with it. All I need to see is pictures of the watch and the full spec. And the price, obviously. That's all I need. Before I don't need, like, paragraph after paragraph after paragraph of marketing bump. And to be honest with you, Carlos, I think you've took it a bit far. It made me chuckle when I was... In fact, what I'm going to do is, with the magic of editing, uh, I'm going to read out just, I'm not going to read it all out because I'll be here forever. But I'm going to read out a section of it, the market and stuff. And to, to be honest with you, Carlos, it's too much. Right, I'm going to read it out in my weird voice that I'll pick when I'm doing the edit. Right, here we go. The Borealis Lusitano. Invites you to embark on an odyssey where every tick is a step through time, every detail, a chapter, and a grand narrative, and every moment a precious beat in the infinite string of time. Join us in this timeless journey with the Borealis Lusitano, where every detail is a verse and a timeless ballad, and every second as a, a note, and an eternal symphony, crafting a melody that will echo through the corridors of time forever and always. Come on, you fuck, Carlos. That's too much, man. How long it took you to write that. And that's just a wee tiny bit of it. There's loads more. You don't need to put all that shit in there, Carlos. You're wasting your time. Just give me the price, the specs, pictures. That's all I need. I don't... That's... No disrespect to you, Carlos, but that's just market and drivel. Anyway, I had to get that out of there because I thought... When I read it, I'm like, what the fuck? Come on! Right, anyway... <laughs> I hope you're not offended by that, Carlos, as I said. It's just having a laugh. Anyway, this watch, Gold Award. I really like it. Just a shade over $300. I, I'd pay that for this. And obviously, you pick your favourite colour and happy days. 
Yeah, I would recommend it. Oh, I just said that. Fuck's sake. Right, I'm just waffling now. Right. Right, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, please like and share the video. It does help. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.